The first thing you're going to want to do is gain access to the ECU plate. You are going to want to pull back the passenger footwell carpet. There's going to be a couple plastic clips holding it in. Take those out, gain access to the plate. There are 10 millimeter nuts and bolts holding this plate on. Remove those and you can easily pull the black plate out. After you've gained access to the ECU, I chose to take the two 10 millimeter nuts holding the ECU to gain easier access to the plugs that you need to get to in order to wire this in. Plug E134 is the one you're going to want on the 08 14 WRXs. It is pin number 18 which is an all white wire in this case that you're going to want to use for the throttle position sensor that the DCCD Pro needs to work in automatic mode correctly. Once you have that wire cut, you're going to want to strip the wire back, make a connection, and then you are going to want to securely tie in the blue wire from the DCCD Pro to those white wires. I chose to use a bare butt connector and heat shrink to get the job done. As far as power and ground, there's a few good places to get it on this car. In the center console here, there is a power port that has tw the 12 volts that you need and it is a, I believe it is a 15 amp fuse that isn't shared by anything else, so that's a good place to get the power for this controller as it isn't really shared by much else. And as far as grounding, there's a many good ground points up where you're going to need to mount the DCCD Pro. Behind this black panel here, there is a body ground right there that is a great place to ground it at. As far as mounting, there's many different places you can mount it. Just make sure it's secure and not going to be flopping around. I chose to mount mine in the glove box with double-sided sticky tape. And just to note, the brown wire here, I did not hook up. It is for the e-brake, and what it will do is we'll disable the DCCD when the e-brake is engaged. So after everything's all hooked up, you're going to want to test the connections and make sure everything's working correctly. And the best way to do that is just turn the ignition on without starting the car. And as you turn the knob, you will see the blue ring on the button get brighter. In automatic mode, if you hit the throttle, you should see the blue light get brighter or darker depending on throttle position when it's in automatic mode. In locked mode, it won't do anything to the brightness of the light with the throttle position. But anyway, I hope that helps some of the trickier steps with getting the DCCD Pro wired in. Um, it's really not that bad once you get into it, and the directions are pretty good. The most nerve-wracking part for me was getting the ECU tied into the throttle position, 